This is how to configure the display settings for Social Booth. Each of the backgrounds of the screens in Social Booth are external PNG files. The Start screen, Capture screen, the Review, Filter, GIF, Social, and Thanks screen. You can use my default screens or you can make your own. You'll notice that there is a large and a small version of each screen. This is to accommodate for smaller screen resolutions. If you go into Photoshop, you'll see the difference. If I turn on the guides, you'll see the difference. The horizontal lines are showing a 768 high screen, where the default screen is 1920 by 1080. If you're using a smaller monitor resolution, you'll need to move your text so it's centered on the screen. The external files are located in the Install folder in the Assets. There you'll find all the backgrounds. Depending on your resolution, you'll use the standard or the small. Next to each screen, you'll see a checkbox to play audio files for each screen. If you want to include audio prompts, these are located also in the Assets folder in the Audio folder. These are also associated with each screen and are currently just placeholders. You should replace these with your own. You can click on the audio icon to preview it, and any screen that has a checkbox next to it will play the audio file. The photo and video start buttons should be left default unless you want to embed your own buttons in the backgrounds. The way you would do that is like this. In Photoshop, if you have the touch to start screen, and you would place your own button there. If you save this out and then use that as your start screen, you would uncheck the default and now you would have to define the width, height, and position of your button for a hotspot. So I just drag my guides out and I find the position and the size that I want the go button. and I would enter those in here. So that would assume I have a 200 by 200 button, and this is the X coordinate, and this is the Y coordinate. So any, anytime somebody clicks on those coordinates, it'll act like a button to start the photo session. You could also make the entire screen hot by doing a 1920 by 1080 hotspot located at 0, 0, and the whole touch to start screen will be hot then. The live view image is the preview image when the photo is being taken, and the image border is a 15 pixel white border I have around the photo that looks like a Polaroid frame. You can disable that or change the width. 